It is generally thought worldwide that domestic first-class cricket is the gateway to becoming a part of a national cricket team. But like many other domestic cricket players of Pakistan, Tabish Khan shall dismiss this as a myth too. Turning 35 last year, Tabish Khan made his debut in domestic cricket with Quaid E. Azam competition in 2001 to 2002. And for 18 years, this dismantler of batsmen, who has been topping the bowling charts in first class cricket for six years consecutively, remained ignored by the selectors of the Pakistan national team. After debuting at the age of 17, Tabish Khan made a name for himself in domestic cricket in a short time. He is known and praised as a legendary domestic cricketer who is absolutely lethal with the red ball, even in the unresponsive pitches of Karachi. Here are some of the records under his belt that make us all wonder why he didn't make it to the national team a long time ago. Being one of the few fast bowlers in Pakistan to take more than 500 wickets in first class cricket, Tabish has 574 wickets in only 130 games, a strike rate of 45.8, the best among any Pakistani fast bowler who has played first class cricket matches. In 2018's Quaid E. Azam Trophy, Tabish Khan ranked as the highest wicket taking fast bowler and was the fifth best player on the overall list, having taken 25 wickets. In spite of his performance, Tabish Khan did not get the chance to play for Pakistan while his younger colleagues, such as Tanvir Ahmed, Soel Khan, Junaid Khan, all got a chance to play to Pakistan. As cricket has evolved, white ball format of the game has started to become more popular and receive more attention. This is very hurtful for the likes of Tabish that turn out to be beast in red ball format of cricket. Yet the real format of the game, the real test for a team, is still considered to be test cricket. And for Pakistani team, which was at its glory when it ranked number one in test cricket, only recently, Tabish Khan should have long been a part of the national squad. But not all is sad in Tabish Khan's life. We're all in anticipation of seeing how Tabish Khan performs. Let us know in the comments below what your expectations are, whether you also believe that the man should have been in the national squad long ago.